In this video, we're going to take a look at how you hard reset an RT2600 AC wireless router from within Synology's router manager. A hard reset, or as it's sometimes referred, a factory reset, is when we attempt to restore our router back to its original factory default settings. As this procedure will remove all of the configuration settings on our router, and return the router to a state where it will display the setup wizard, typically we would perform this action if we were looking to sell, give away, or decommission our router. In order to perform this type of factory reset, we first need to log into Synology's router manager using our administrator's credentials. However, if you find that you're unable to access the SRM on your router, you can perform a factory reset of your RT2600 via the reset switch, which is situated on the back of the unit. Now from the SRM desktop, if we select Control Panel, and then from the sidebar we locate and choose System, under the Update and Restore tab is a heading called Configuration Backup and Restore. In the section under Restore the Backup Configuration or Restore Synology Router to its factory default settings, if we select Restore Factory Default Settings, a window will open informing us that by performing this task, we will remove all data and return our router to its default settings. By ticking the checkbox, we have confirmed that we understand that this process will forever delete and make any data stored on our router unrecoverable. The Arrays All Data button will now start a countdown. At the end of the countdown, if we select Arrays All Data, we start the hard reset process. As a factory reset will take roughly 10 minutes to complete, let's close our web browser. The status light on the front of our RT2600 will change from a solid green light to a solid orange light. This indicates that our router is currently in the process of performing a hard reset. While the router is being factory reset, all other indicator lights will remain switched off. It is very important that while our router is being hard reset, we do not remove the power from our router. When the status light once again changes to a solid green, and the other indicator lights once again become illuminated, we will have completed a hard reset on our RT2600. If we now once again try to wirelessly connect to our router, we will find that our router is displaying its default SSID, which as you can see here begins with the word Synology. If when you select your router's default SSID, you might be asked for a password. If this is the case, you need to type Synology into the password field. With our computer once again wirelessly connected to our router, if we open a web browser and type in the router's default IP address, which in this case is 192.168.1.1. After pressing enter on our keyboard, we will once again be shown the starting page for our RT2600 AC's setup wizard. 